Hey guys, Spencer Kaufman here with How To Video Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to hook up a water inline on the dishwasher. So if you purchased a new dishwasher and you want to install it yourself, you can do that. Be sure to check out a couple other videos in cards up above. The first one is how to connect your power cord. So watch that video so you can wire up your power cord on your dishwasher. The second one is how to connect your drain line. So check that out in a card up above and you can uh, install your own drain line. So after you've done all that, uh, or in whatever order you choose, you can install your water in line. So this is where the water comes into the dishwasher. Now typically, uh, if things are very simple and in an easy world, which you never have, uh, the inline will be blue. So that's how you know what that is. It's right here. Now it also usually has a little hose and then it's going to go into this apparatus and into the dishwasher, spin out, and then the drain will come out on the other side. Uh, so you can find them. They're usually right next to each other, usually on the left side of the dishwasher as you're looking at it from the front. Uh, so once you've located that, you are going to need a flex line, which is like this. Uh, it comes in a dishwasher installation kit with your power cord. It's usually about 30 bucks. You can check all that out in the description below. Uh, but however, you'll see that, that this, this doesn't work. This won't go here. So you need a fitting, and that is this right here. So this is a hose fitting. If you don't have one, you can grab it at a hardware store or in the description below. And what you do here is connect this to this right here like that. You don't need any pipe tape. You don't need anything. Uh, this is a compression fitting. So you can tighten this, uh, usually about finger tight, and then take a pliers or a wrench and then give it another turn or half turn uh, on there. So we're going to hold it like this. The reason you want to do this part first is because if you take a look at this, you can turn this, this tube. Uh, let's, let me hold this. You can turn this tube inside. See that? So if you tighten this all the way, pretty soon you're just going to be spinning this tube and that's not going to work. So you want to hold the thread washer or the nut right here, hold that, and then you can turn this side to get it all the way in. And if you didn't hear that because I was talking, but I felt a click. Okay, that means it's all the way, it has hit that washer and it's tight. Now you just turn it a little bit more and there you go, that's good enough. Then you can take this, put it in here under your dishwasher and if you have a couple clips like that, they're not really the right size but it can help me hold it right now, not really. So we're going to get this spun around, hold that under here and now we can do the same thing here by just tightening this on to the dishwasher. So screw this on. This is just like putting a hose on. Again, you don't need any pipe tape because it is a compression fitting. This one you'll want to make sure is tight because it is a plastic ring. So we're going to put a pliers on there or a vice grip. Hold that and give this couple cranks. Now here you could use a pipe wrench because it's a little bit bigger, but if you've got a pliers or something, uh, whatever you can use to turn this will work for you. So give that a couple more turns. You don't want anything leaking, that's for sure, especially once you get it under the counter. There we go. So that is it. That is how to connect your dishwasher water in line. So if you have any questions, please comment below. I'd also love it if you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button on this video. In addition, hit that bell icon to be notified for future videos. And if you do any of that, I'd love it if you comment saying you did so, because that really helps me out a lot. Thank you.